The clock shop is another fun piece to play in the performance book. This one's really cool because when you put it with the duet, you can definitely hear the steady clicking or steady ticking of the clock. And you'll see what I mean when we, do, when we go to do the duet. This one is a combination of slurs and staccatos. And we've kind of gone through that. We've seen this pattern before where you're slurring into a note and then the note comes off with staccato. And so I think you'll recognize that. We won't go over that again. The thing that they want us to talk about really quick is that this, this looks like a really long piece, right? There's two pages to it. But let's look for patterns in the music. So this looks a whole lot like this. These two measures are different, but these three measures are the same. Is there anywhere else that we see that pattern? And yes, the answer is over here on the second page. We have this right here. And in fact, if you look, these two measures right here look like those two. So it's basically a return of this section. We basically are repeating that. So if you learned it here, you'll already know it when you get to the second page. When you get to right here, this and this are the same. It's just this part that is different. So there's really not that much to learn, at least not as much as it looks like. But it's it turns into a really long piece that is really fun to play and really cool to listen to. So now let's go to the keyboard. The first note in the right hand is A. And we know that because we can do F-A-C-E, face in the space. And when we're counting from the bottom up, the second space is A. And so we are going to find A, here it is right here, and put three on it, which puts us in this position. In the left hand, we see that the top note is middle C and the bottom note is F. So this is where the left hand's going to go. And if you look, both hands have F as the bottom note, and so we are in the F position. So now let's play it. 